Okay, y'all. This is Renee with Two Chatty Chicks. And this is not going to be a very long video. I just kind of wanted to jump on and check out. Uh, and this is not gonna oh, i got to turn my volume video. down, y'all. Sorry. Kind of I always forget to do that. But I wanted to check out my new phone and see the lighting, check it all out. So this is just not going to be very long. Um, we're going to do a little bit of chalk couture. And normally I am such a textural finisher and I'm trying to do a lot of layers. Sometimes simplicity is um, a nice thing. And I've got these small canvases, so I thought I'd just do something really quick and uh, about uh, the chalk couture. And they are reusable adhesive silk screens like these here for those of you that have not already seen some of the videos that I've done this in here is not open spaces those are little tiny holes that's just like a screen like on a screen door and they have the paste the chalkology paste and um, this is the paste on here and what you can do is say you wanted to change this design out you just take water and you can wash it off and then put you a new design on but I wanted to show y'all a little bit about the ink I did one the other night and this is one of the designs that I did on a um, pillow slip cover and it was the deer horns and then I took and applied some of the little flowers on there and I just thought that was just really cute And whenever you get your uh, designs, before you use them, you want to make sure that you write a B on the back. Because this is not as slick as this side. I thought I had already pulled that up. Sometimes they can be a little tricky to get to, to pull up. Well, that one really is. I might have to get a pen. There we go. Okay, you can see that this side is slick, and this is the side that you always want the sticky side of your transfer to go to. You can see how sticky that is. And you can get many uses out of these as long as you really take good care of them. So you want to make sure that you mark a B on the back so that you'll know to always put your transfer on the shiny side of the paper. Okay, and I am going to put this on canvas, and I don't want it to really over stick. So, just ignore how dirty the washcloth is. That doesn't matter. <laughs> you just want to, what we call, fuzz it up. Just going to kind of lay that down, and that will all come off whenever you, we wash it. And then you just lay it, position it, just like that. Now, if I'm doing a large design, I'll, I'll do it a little different. I'm going to scoot that over. I'll kind of show you with this one if I'm doing something larger. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll tape it into place, and I will pull this back so far then I will fold this and then I will put this into position and tape and this is already sticky so it will hold and I don't have to tape up here and then I can reach up underneath and I can pull this part out and it's not going to go anywhere but since this one is not that large I'll just do it this way and I'll defuzz it as well I thought it'd be kind of neat to do something on canvas. And I'm hoping to have these canvases on my uh, website. And uh, the website should be up in about a week. Just want to push that down really well. I'm going to put my hand underneath to kind of hold that into place. Now the difference with the ink, it's not as forgiving as your paste. Whenever you're using the paste, say like on the... Uh, uh, chalkboards on the magnetic chalkboards say the paste gets past where the transfer is at you can take and wash it right off 
but with the ink, you're not going to be able to do that. And since it's like that, I hope that I'm not jiggling that phone around. Since it's like that, if I'm afraid I am going to get over that area, I will use some orange core tape or frog tape. And just lay right along the edge of that. That way you don't have to worry about it. I had rather do that than to mess up. And you know, these would even be pretty if you wanted to paint them and then put your designs down. But on this one, I thought I would do the teal. And this says, be your own kind of beautiful. And I hope that y'all can read that correctly. Oh, you can. Okay, good. I forgot to check that before I went on. And you just want to put your... And y'all, I can't see who all is on. So, But if y'all have any questions, be sure and ask. And um, I'll be uh, more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And you're not going to believe how little of this product you use. And once you get it on, you just want to pull it back. And you just put it back in the jar. And it's very important that you take good care of your transfers. The canvas kind of gives a little bit more um, give to it than normal. But that's okay. I'm going to pull that up. Now see how easy that is? Isn't that awesome? And then I'll just take this and I'll put it in water and I'll wash this off and then I'll turn it over and I'll wash this side and um, I'm just going to lay that right there. And then whenever it dries, I'll use the Lysol disinfectant to clean them, and then I'll lay them to dry. And then whenever I'm done, let me move this out of the way and I'll show you. Whenever I'm done, I will put um, the transfer down. And then I will take my shiny side, I'll turn it over, and I'll lay it, I'll get the right piece of paper, and then I lay this back down here on the transfer. Instead of trying to lay my paper down and lay the transfer on the paper, it's a lot easier to do it this way. But I'm just going to lay that over there so I can wash that in just a minute. And this one, I'm going to do it the same on both pieces. I'll just do this one and then... I'm going to go wash it and let it dry, but I just kind of, this was more of a test to check out my, um, my camera, and I'm really excited because it's working like it's supposed to. I feel like there's a little bit too much light, so I will have to make an adjustment on that, and the color that I used on this one is the uh, teal, the teal ink, and you, I mean, this stuff is going to go forever. And on this one, I'm going to use the gold. And this is a Hiena. Um, and there's several pieces that goes to this one. I was going to bring them back in here, and I forgot, so that you could see how many pieces. And I'll put the link uh, to the my Chalk Couture store so that y'all can... Uh, Look at anything that y'all might be interested in. If you need any help, just holler at me. I'll be happy to help you out. Oh, I love this color. This is pretty cool. It's just so small that you can just pick them up and move them around. But it's things like this that I like to make and to give as gifts. Um... I've always been the type that I love to get gifts that people have made. Wow, that's a very pretty color. All right, I'm just going to lift that up. Wow, very pretty. All 
All right, what do y'all think? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one over here. You know what? I'm going to see if I can't just go ahead and lay that down and not even wash it. I don't see why not. All right, let's see. I hope I got it rubbed down enough. I think I do. But you can really see that I am not using very much of product at all. Oh, I think I got something underneath my transfer. And I love it because you don't have to worry about bleed or anything like that. And you can see I'm pulling that all back up, everything that I have put down, basically. Yeah, I do have something underneath it right there. But that's okay. All right. Wow. See, I didn't even have to wash it. You can just go right along and use it. And I thought these would really make a nice little gift for someone. And I think what I may do is get me some little flowers to put on there to dress them up a little bit. I appreciate y'all stopping in tonight. And I uh, hope you uh, liked what little bit I did here. It wasn't very long, but like I said, it was a test to check out my new phone because it's been a nightmare for the last couple of days. I appreciate y'all coming by. Y'all have a great evening, and I'll see y'all later. Good night.